Good afternoon. This is Micah Mitchell with Madison County Weather Updates and Crystal Clear Weather. Um, I wanted to do a quick update on our storm tomorrow. The thing that people are most interested in, of course, is the snow. So I'm just going to take a look at what yesterday I kind of did a quick blow through on what the models were doing yesterday. They were all pulling way back to the northwest and really giving us a whole bunch of nothing. So we're seeing that trend reverse some today. So let's take a look at it. The first one we'll look at is the 6Z European. The 12Z has not started running yet. And the 12Z is where we're starting to see some of the changes. But so we'll take a look at the 6Z European. And uh, it really wanted nothing to do with uh, accumulating snow, really kind of south of Kokomo. It has some hit or miss stuff, but basically south of Kokomo, it, the European had you know, a dusting to maybe an inch of snow. So that was the worst case scenario for snow lovers. So then we'll take a look at the um, 12Z GFS and 12Z GFS now has moved back south. It gives Madison County anywhere from an inch to maybe four or five inches in the northwest up toward Elwood or so. And again, this is just a model. Can't take this verbatim. I'm not saying Elwood's getting four or five inches of snow. Not saying Markleville's not getting four or five inches of snow, and I'll discuss here in a minute what my thoughts are, but I'm just showing you what the models are doing. So we've seen this move to the south, uh, southeast some, and you can also see that the track is more flattened out today, more from west to east. Yesterday it was really hard, uh, southwest to northeast, and I, I think the models are starting to realize the storm's not going to be quite as intense as they thought, plus... The cold air is actually getting in here quicker and it's beginning to suppress the uh, storm track a little bit. So between the two, I think we're seeing a little bit of a south uh, southward shift on these models. Uh, the next one up then is the uh, going to be the high res Canadian. Again, it's uh, coming south some too. Again, it has Madison County picking up two to three inches of snowfall. The heavier snow is now creeping down farther into north uh, northern Indiana, getting closer to like Kokomo and Marion a little bit. Still north of them, but getting closer. And uh, again, they just model runs. But again, you can see the track again, laying out more west to east now, instead of the hard uh, northwest or southwest to northeast that what they had yesterday. Um, here's the high res NAM. It's the one that's starting to see, and I was, uh, had a little bit of a, a Twitter slash X discussion with a uh, bill at NDWX and uh, this morning talking about this and you can see how the NAM 3k is pulling heavy snow down uh, kind of toward Indianapolis and uh, kind of just to our northwest into Kokomo Lafayette what the NAM 3k is starting to realize is that if this low is that intense and the cold air is really coming in a little quicker Instead of the low pressure spinning rain all the way around its core, it may begin to pull uh, cold air around its core instead. So I will say this right now, my gut is that Madison County should expect one to three inches of snow. That's what I think we should expect. I don't think we should expect zero. I think we should expect one to three, but this storm has surprise written all over it. If this thing wraps and pulls it in, really makes its core cold this could pull a uh, dump heavy snow in places beyond the deformation area which will still be to our north so the nam 3k may be starting to see that then we'll take a look here uh, this is the uh, icon model it also has come to the south again putting them down one to about four inches of snow in madison county with a heavier snow just our north, but it's beginning to creep down. And again, we're seeing this more west to east uh, layout of the snow instead of the, the southwest to northeast. So that brings us to the big thing. Uh, in my opinion, the big thing, and I've been emphasizing for a couple of days, I don't care whether we get two inches of snow or 12 inches of snow, the wind was going to be the big problem. The National Weather Service has issued a high wind watch for tomorrow into Saturday that will become a warning and uh, with these uh, levels of winds I just picked out a, a random hour tomorrow evening uh, wind gusts at Muncie Indianapolis 
you know, 47 miles per hour. Those, some of those gusts will be higher. The National Weather Service advisory is for gusts up to 60 miles per hour. And this will go on for hours and hours and hours. So if we get snowfall, and again, a blizzard does not require a certain amount of snowfall. It just requires snowfall along with the wind criteria. We would be at near blizzard to blizzard conditions tomorrow night into Saturday morning. So if you have to be out during that, be very aware that if it is snowing, if you don't have to be out traveling, don't do so, especially out in, in the middle of nowhere. Don't be traveling the county or anything like that where it's going to be difficult for somebody to get to you if something goes wrong, especially with the temperatures will be falling from a, you know, from the 40s tomorrow afternoon down into the teens by Saturday morning and down into the single digits by Saturday night. So those are the things I think we want to keep track of. Uh, again, the wind is going to be the big problem, not the snowfall. Uh, you know, again, whether we get a surprise heavy snow or whether we just get a little bit of snow, winds are the big story. So, uh, again, you know, my thought for Madison County, I think we should expect one to three inches of snow, but be prepared for more. And no matter what, even if we don't get any snow, be prepared for this wind. It's going to cause power outages, especially uh, where we've had rainfall a couple days ago. And we could get another three quarters of an inch to an inch and a half of rain tomorrow before it changes to snow. That's going to saturate the ground, the surface. So trees that have weak roots will be more prone to be blown over. Uh, utility poles that maybe are in ground that's already started to weaken, they'll be more prone to blow over. So be prepared. Have, have some other source of heat available, especially as temperatures plunge. If the power would go out and those winds are that high, it's going to be really hard for utility crews to get out and fix those things. So just for more than anything, prepare for the winds with this storm. And the snow, whatever happens with the snow, is totally secondary. Prepare for the winds, prepare for the cold. So this is Michael Mitchell with Madison County Weather Updates. Have a great day.